guys, it's Emily here and I went to BookCon! As many of you guys here on BookTube know, BEA and BookCon happened this past week in Chicago at McCormick Place. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go to BEA due to work stuff, but I was able to pull off going to BookCon on Saturday. And so I just want to tell you a couple of my thoughts and experiences on the day. So the first thing I want to talk about with BookCon was the first thing that happened and that was lining up to go to autograph sessions with authors and they had it set up where at starting at eight o'clock they would open the doors for you to get in line to get wristbands and you would get a wristband for a certain author that you wanted to meet and they would be letting you guys know when wristbands were out for certain authors. I got there at like 7 30 and holy crap guys the line was already ridiculously long. The line took up two levels of McCormick Place. It was like the first level across the skywalk and then down the stairs and wrapped around to the next level. One of the longest lines I've ever been in in my life. And so the first author I wanted to meet was Sarah J Maas and then I also wanted to meet Marissa Meyer. By the time they finally opened the doors and I was able to get in line for a certain author, Sarah J Maas was already sold out. Which I kind of had a feeling would happen since her newest book just released and she's kind of a big deal. So that didn't totally surprise me. And they kept on updating their whiteboards and you would see it on the app and on the website and stuff for Marissa Meyer, and I hadn't heard a single word about her, so I thought I was pretty safe. But when I got to the table, she had just sold out, and I was so disappointed, because I'd been in line for maybe like an hour and a half to two hours at that point. And so I ended up getting a wristband for Lainey Taylor, which is great. Like, she's a great author, and I was excited to meet her. But I was super, super bummed that I wasn't able to meet the two authors. And the thing is, I hadn't realized how much in my head I had built up about meeting authors until I was told I could not meet them. And so it kind of set this, like, weird precedent for the day. Which is a total bummer because Lainey Taylor is freaking amazing and she's a, she's a fantastic author. And so then I, you know, kind of got over it. I went to the Lainey Taylor signing. But then when I got in line to meet her, I noticed that the signing table was very tall. And honestly, like, I was tired. I was disappointed about other stuff. I almost turned around and just was like, forget it, because the table was so tall and it was going to be like up to here on me because I'm four foot two. And so if something is tall, it's going to be very awkward. And so I stayed in line and I got her autograph, which is right here. Isn't it awesome? It's so pretty and it makes me super, super happy. And we talked about Zuzanna and Mick and it was awesome, but I opted to not take a photo with her because the table was so tall, it would have been like the worst, most awkward photo ever. But what was also super frustrating is that the entire time I was in line for Lainey Taylor, not a single worker checked my wristband. And I appreciated the thought behind the wristband to meet authors, but no one checked the wristbands. And so it was frustrating that I spent all this time waiting for a wristband when no one was even confirming if I had one or not, unless they were doing it silently without our knowledge, which is entirely possible. And so if I had known that, you know, then people could have been, like, hopping different lines where they didn't have a wristband for. And then also, tons of people, once they got wristbands at the beginning of the day, they ended up line hopping to get a bunch more. And so there were some people who had, like, five wristbands, and then there were some people who had one or none. And I kind of feel like maybe they should have limited the amount that you could have. And then later in the day, they'd be able to announce, oh, these authors have still signings available. You can go back, like, once other people have had a chance. But all of this brings me to my next point in the you need to go into things like BookCon with a very open mind and positive attitude because part of my own frustration came from me and not necessarily from the con. And so when you go to things like BookCon or anything like that, go into it thinking, hey, if I get to do this or that or meet this person and that person, that's great. But if I don't get to do those things, it's totally going to be okay because there's so many other things to do and parts of the con to enjoy and other people to meet. And then I was totally able to meet a bunch of other booktubers. I ended up hanging out with Sarah Ann Hayes most of the time. She and I shared a hotel room and it was such a delight meeting her, especially since she and I have known each other for years and years and years because 
she and I met through blogging before we even were on YouTube, and so it was awesome to finally meet my friend in person, and she's not just my internet friend, she's my in real life friend now. And I also met a bunch of other booktubers, and I totally wish I had thought to make business cards for myself. I have business cards for my old blog, but that blog doesn't really exist anymore, and it doesn't have any information about my YouTube. And so... I really wish I had done that so that way it had been a little bit easier to network, but it was awesome meeting more booktubers. That's, I I can't even list all the booktubers I met, so maybe I will go back onto my Twitter and my YouTube subscription list and just write down all of the people I met and put the list like on here somewhere. These are all of the people I met over the weekend, so feel free to pause here so you can read all of the names, but seriously, all of you are amazing. My next thought is that I totally should have brought snacks and drinks because we got coffee when we were in line for the autographs, but by the time it was like 10 o'clock when the con actually started, Sarah and I were starving and we were like, we totally should have brought snacks and drinks because convention center food is expensive. I was able to go to a couple of the panels, which were really cool. One of the panels I was able to go to was What is Light Without Darkness in YA Books, and that was with Veronica Roth, Lauren Olivier, Saba Tahir, Melissa De La Cruz, and I thought that was a really, really fascinating topic. And there was the Friendship is Magic panel with Sarah J. Moss, Susan Dennard, and Alexander Bracken, which was also a really, really fun topic because, you know, friends in books are the best. And I also went to my favorite panel. It's actually the one I went to towards the end of the day. And that has Sarah J. Maas. Oh, I can't remember. The, the, the author who wrote Red Queen, which I haven't read. And uh, Lainey Taylor. And that one was supposed to be about writing book series and how that process goes but it kind of ended up being more just about their writing process in general which I just found really really awesome and fascinating because I love hearing about authors and their writing styles because I am an aspiring author and I want to learn more about writing so it's really cool to always hear from people who are published and how all that goes. I was also able to get this um, kind of an arc. It's like the first part of Lainey Taylor's new book, A Strange the Dreamer, and it also came with like a bunch of buttons, and I was so excited about that, and so that's one of the cool things about these events is that you get stuff like this. And of course, there was the book explosion panel with Kat and Jesse and Christine, which was just really fun and entertaining just to see them, and a lot of people asked them questions, so that was a really fun panel too. It was a really good time. I really wish I had taken more pictures. Like, I met all these booktubers. I didn't take a picture with a single one. Sarah did take this picture of a pizza that we ate with Raul and his wife, Lily. And I also took a selfie with Sarah. But I didn't take any other pictures. And yeah, I'm sorry, I fail at vlogging. So, but yeah, it was a really good day. I kind of feel like it would have been better if I had gone to BEA and then BookCon because then I could have like spread out all the things I wanted to do and it wouldn't have been as hectic because it was very crowded and you kind of felt like you had to get everything done all in one day. But overall, it still was a fun experience. It was a good day. I'm glad I was able to meet so many booktubers. That really was my favorite part of the day was meeting everyone and getting to hang out and all of that. It was fantastic. And so, yeah, I am so excited for other booktube and bookish events in the future. I think I want to go to Y'all Fest in November. They haven't announced the dates yet, but I think that's going to be happening later this year. And also, it made me kind of evaluate my social media and how I really need to probably change all of my usernames and handles to just Emily Hornberg or E.E. E. Hornberg because my old handles have to do with my old blog that doesn't really exist anymore and so therefore it's very confusing. So if you happen to see some of my usernames changing over the next few weeks or months or whenever I get to it, that's it. So just a heads up. So yeah, I love all of you guys, and if you met me and I met you, it was so great to meet you and see you, and I will see you later. Bye.